Have you bought a laptop or a keyboard without the LED status keys, the caps lock, the num lock and the scroll lock key status? Well, fear not. Somebody's developed an app just for you. Here's how you get it. First of all, open your browser. So I'm going to open Google Chrome, but any browser will do. And once your browser's open, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, click once in it and delete out whatever's in there. And then you just need to type keyboard hyphen leds.com so that's keyboard hyphen leds.com then press enter or return on your keyboard now when this page loads you might notice that there's a buy area here now keyboard leds is actually free of charge but if you find it useful you can go to the buy section of the website and make a contribution, a PayPal contribution to the developers for all their hard work. So to download it, just click on download up the top there, then scroll down and download XE. So move your mouse over download XE and left click once. After a few seconds, the download should start. As you can see on Chrome in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it says it's downloading. And you can tell when it's finished downloading because the figures below keyboardleds.xe will disappear. And there you go, they've disappeared. So let's open it up. So left click once on keyboardleds.xe. It will then say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. It then asks you to select your language. So I'm gonna leave mine as English and then left click OK. And then left click next to continue. Have a look at the software agreement there. And if you agree with everything it says there, move your mouse over I agree and left click once. Then move your mouse over install and left click once. The program is now installing and here you go. So it's now finished. So I just want to run keyboard LEDs. I don't want to report installing to the website. So I'm just going to move my mouse over the tick just to the left of report installing to website. Left click once to remove the tick and then move my mouse over finish and left click once. Then I can close down the browser by clicking on the cross just up here. And there we go. So we've got options here. We can automatically run the program at startup and we can assign colors to the different keys. So at the moment, all of the LEDs are red, but say for instance, you wanted the num lock to be red, the caps lock to be green and the scroll lock to be blue, then you can select those there. So let's go, okay, the closest to blue is, oh no, there is blue there. We can select blue then you can do that if you want, okay. So all we do now is just click on the cross just at the top right hand corner of the screen here. And as I can see here, when I push the caps lock, it actually says caps lock on down here. But also we have a, uh, a little indication just here. So if we wanna get that on our main menu, what we do is we right click anywhere on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and then left click taskbar settings. And then we scroll down and we click on select which icons appear on the taskbar. And we scroll down and we wanna to go to keyboard LEDs and we wanna turn that on, so click the little switch just to the right of keyboard LEDs, and there you go, it appears now in the taskbar all the time. So I'll click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen there, and uh, like I say, we've got our status just there. So if I wanna go back into the options, I just double left click on it, and we've got an option here. If we don't want the on-screen display, then we can untick this box here, and it stops the uh, caps lock on from coming up or the uh, num lock on from coming up. And like I say, we can make changes to uh, the color coding. So I'll just set these back to red for the moment, okay. And then I'm gonna just close this off. And as you can see, that still sticks now in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So if I press caps lock, there you go, the caps lock light goes off, press it again, it goes back on. If I press the num lock light, it goes off. And if I press the scroll lock on there, Again, the scroll lock light will come back on. So there you go, that guide showed you how to restore the LEDs that used to be on your old keyboard. 
Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.